Goffberg and welcome to the world of Omega. Today I will be your guide to the Omega Speedmaster Moon Watch Dark Side of the Moon Pitch Black. This watch 44.25 millimeters in black ceramic is an automatic winder. So now the watch can be manually wound even though it has a case back winding mass. Take the crown in its first position flush to the case and wind it in a clockwise direction. Now, you can turn it 30 to 40 turns, which will be sufficient both to start the movement, even with the chronograph stopped, you can see the seconds and constant seconds at nine o'clock is ticking. Keep in mind now that the watch will wind itself if you choose to set it and set the date at this point, but if you wish to continue winding up to the maximum rated power reserve of 60 hours, turn until you hear a subtle snick or click in the case. That means you've reached 60 hours. The bridal style mainspring will slip by design to prevent overwinding. And that audible click, tick, or snick in the case is your sign that your watch is fully wound. Now, I just pulled the crown out two to tenths from flush to the case. The reason for that is because I stopped the seconds hand at the index at 60. This is called hacking seconds or stop seconds. I halt the mechanism and allow precise synchronization to a known accurate reference time. So you can see if you go online and find an accurate source such as an atomic clock set to your time zone, once you've stopped the seconds hand at 60, set to the same hour as the atomic clock and set one minute ahead. Now wait for that reference time to catch up to the hour, minute, and second that you set, then push the crown all the way in, resume the beat of the watch. Now you've synchronized your watch to an accurate reference time. But if you pull the crown out, one detent, and I'll demonstrate how this is done, you engage the time zone feature, which allows you to keep the movement running. Note, I can have the chronograph running, seconds hand continues to advance, but I can set the watch forward or backward in one hour increments as I travel. I can even jump the international date line, east or west, and drive the date backwards or forward with no hazard to the movement. That's the benefit of this system. It does not interrupt the chronometric precision of the watch or the timing function of the chronograph. Now, it should be noted that the watch features a tachymeter scale that can be used in conjunction with the chronograph to gauge the speed of an object over a set distance, let's say a kilometer. We'll say our, our unit is meters, our speed will be kilometers per hour. We start the chronograph when the object passes the start point, let's say a race car, passes the start point of our fixed kilometer. And when it passes the end point, the kilometer is complete, we stop at exactly that moment. And then being mindful of our units, whatever they may be, we read the speed off of the bezel. Now the watch features a strap equipped with a minderless system. So you enter the opposite side of the strap into the clasp and tuck all excess length underneath the clasp body. Twin triggers, one on each side, both depressed, will open the clasp to release the watch from your wrist or to allow easier donning at bedside. Every morning when you place the watch on your wrist, you should keep in mind the principal hazards facing your timepiece water, temperature, magnetism, and shock. Let's start with water. First and foremost, though the watch is rated at 50 meters water resistant by Omega, which is sufficient for surface exposure, light duty surface swimming, or inadvertent rain. Nevertheless, because the watch is on a leather strap, which is never water resistant, it being a porous natural material, keep the strap remote from water while washing hands, for example, or if you know the watch is going to be in contact with moisture, simply put it on a water resistant band in advance. Now you can help to avoid accidental drowning. Do not use the chronograph pushers or set or wind the watch with the crown, not just while the watch is submerged, but while it is wet. You can have the chronograph running underwater, that's not a problem, but don't use the pushers, as attempting to use any of these functions on a wet watch can bypass the case seals and introduce moisture to the interior to expensive consequences. It's also important to remember that just as you can avoid accidental drowning of your watch, you can help to keep your watch rated at 50 meters water resistant by bearing in mind that as seals age and lubricants degrade, water resistance will ebb. It's not a static feature of your watch. Omega recommends on an annual basis a water testing, a dry water test, at a factory authorized service center to ensure your watch remains 50 meters water resistant. Temperature is a concern for a fine mechanical timepiece, both because of the components contained within and their sensitive lubricants. Therefore, Omega advises that you keep the watch remote from high temperatures beyond 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius or temperatures below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius. 
Although the watch features an SI14 silicon hairspring, Omega advertises only its master chronometers, its Metas certified watches, as completely amagnetic or resistant to 1.5 Tesla or greater than 15,000 Gauss. So though the watch may shake off smaller magnetic fields, do bear in mind the magnetic flux density of high-powered equipment such as professional medical MRIs and keep your watch removed from those. With respect to shock, it's important that though the watch has a robust resistance to common shocks and as sports watches go, the free-sprung index with the full balance bridge gives the watch a good deal of protection. Nevertheless, the most concussive activities such as golf, tennis, batting, firearms, marksmanship, mountain biking, or ATV riding should be avoided while wearing the watch. And the ceramic case being exceptionally hard and scratch resistant has the same strengths and weaknesses as a sapphire crystal, which is to say ability to shake off scratches and abrasions, but it also has some fracture and cracking risk if you were to strike the ceramic case or the sapphire against a hard surface such as rock, concrete, marble, or metal. So avoid hard contact with extremely hard surfaces. Finally, Omega recommends every four to five years a comprehensive service of a fine mechanical timepiece. Now, this will involve everything from replacement of damaged exterior parts to restoration of factory rated water resistance to cleaning, oiling, and adjustment of the movement for power reserve and precision. It's also important to recognize that this should only be performed at an authorized service center, ideally having your watch checked on an annual basis for total condition when you bring it in for its water test. The advantages of using an authorized service center or the factory itself are that these agencies solely have the trained personnel, specialized equipment and tools, and original Omega factory replacement parts to protect the value of your watch watch as both instrument as investment. And these agencies solely are able to back all labor and parts invested with a two-year Omega factory service warranty. Finally, visit our website at govbergwatches.com and call, text, or email our experts who will be happy to walk you through every phase of the usage, care, and maintenance of this or any Omega timepiece.